Hello, welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, my name's Lauren. It has been, I wanna say the past couple of weeks things have happened, just really minor inconveniences. Um, it sounds silly. Like two Mondays ago, I went to go start my car. I didn't drive my car all weekend and my car didn't start. I knew I needed a new battery, so that fell on my shoulders. Back in September, they told me, oh, like your car battery, you'll need a new one probably in like six to 12 months. So it's, it's May at this point and I just knew that I would need to get it soon so it it honestly fell on me I should have just gotten a new battery before but I went to go start my car to head to work and my car battery was dead so I feel like my boss was just like mad at me for saying hey I'm gonna go quickly to AutoZone and get a new battery and I'll be in in like 30 minutes and I was in in like 30 minutes so just like that and then this past monday i went to go plug in my sd card from the past two weekends of video footage that i didn't like upload or edit yet because i have like a lot of i'm like basically really ahead on youtube videos like i have a lot of footage that i haven't uploaded yet and usually i upload it onto my external hard drive within a week usually of filming the content and i went to go upload it and the footage was gone like there was no footage from the past two weekends i filmed a whole princess poly haul i filmed like multiple things that included brands and honestly just like putting in the work of filming like a whole weekend like a whole youtube video was just gone and so i was like it was right before work on a monday that i went to go upload the footage so i didn't have to do it on my lunch break and like waste time i like to i'm limited to time throughout the day to edit videos so i just wanted to get ahead and have it already on my computer so I didn't have to wait for it to upload later on my lunch break and I went to go upload it and I was like that's weird maybe I grabbed the wrong SD card put the other SD card in because I have three was not on there put the third SD card in was not on there and I was like what the heck so I started like quickly searching like how to uncover like lost footage and I like downloaded like a random third party app and tried to get the footage back I brought my computer to work open and had it on my desk covering the footage it took four hours and I recovered the footage like I could see it, it was in a lost location I recovered it but i downloaded all the videos and they were all just like black screens so i frantically booked an appointment with the best Buy geek squad and i guess the customer service on the phone to, when booking the appointments is like outsourced so they have no idea what the geek squad can even like help you with i guess so i drove there on my lunch break and they basically told me that they couldn't do anything and i just had this feeling that i could recover it so i was like frantically searching online i came across this other like third party random app and i downloaded it and it was like almost like an early 2000 windows software and i don't even really know what i was clicking but i somehow miraculously uncovered some of the footage if not all of it except for the princess poly haul that i filmed and like all the try on clips i have never been so relieved to uncover footage and like i'm just like so grateful that i could uncover it because that was like two full weekends of footage it takes a lot of effort to film for brands and put it all together and then it was just like a loss of memories so just monday was a lot so i had to refilm the princess poly haul today which is totally fine and they gave me i have until the end of the month anyway to submit the video but i did already film it two weeks ago so it's just yeah anyways it's just a little story time of just some minor inconveniences that comes with living life and it's totally fine and those moments make me appreciate the moments that everything is going good because there are so many good things that are going on and that i have in my life but um, I really do need to get new SD cards because I do not want that to happen again. That was just like really upsetting. And it's just, you know, when you put a lot of effort and um, you take your time to do something that you love to do and something like that happens and you don't know if you're going to get the footage back, it kind of is just like a little heartbreaking. <laughs> so if any of you guys like film content, um, lose photos, your SD card comes corrupt, becomes corrupted, let me know. Um, I have a really good like additional or like third party, I don't even know how to describe it, like an app that you can download that kind of looks a little sketchy, 
but it's fine and honestly you can <laughs> i can give you my number and we can facetime i can walk you through it if you ever lose footage or trying to get it back i can't guarantee that we can get back everything but they were quoting me to send off my sd card um six to eight weeks and they couldn't even guarantee that they could do anything and it was gonna be two thousand dollars so if you ever if this ever happens to you let me know because i can help and i can let you know what i did um and you can try and uncover the footage but i wish i could go back in time because there was these two girls that were there too and they were in the same position where their sd card like they lost all their photos and i wish like i could go back in time and be like hey use this and you'll get the photos back because it's just you know it's upsetting you know anyways i want to make like a afternoon pick me up i'm uploading the video footage from the princess polly hall i need to edit that because i need to submit the video on tuesday because monday's memorial day and the offices are closed thank goodness i am so grateful for a three-day weekend i've been looking forward to this three-day weekend for so long i need to finish editing that video do a thumbnail i already linked everything I need to select the photos that I'm going to upload. I took them at the baseball game that I went to a couple weeks ago. I was wearing a Princess Polly outfit, so I'm going to pick through those and send those in. And I'm also doing a giveaway on the Instagram post, which is exciting. And I'm getting a pedicure at 4.30 because we're going on the boat tomorrow. We're going on the lake, which I'm excited about. Christian has some friends in town and they're out golfing today. And um, I need to put together the rest of my bridesmaids proposal boxes because two of them have a girlfriend and a wife that are gonna be my bridesmaid. And then one of the guys is gonna bring the box, another box down to South Florida for my other bridesmaid to give to her since a lot of my friends live just in different places. But I wish we could have all gotten together last weekend and I could have just asked everyone, but it's just hard when we all live all over the place. So I gotta do that. I gotta write their cards and then just like put together their stuff. But I'm so excited. And oh, let me share. Sorry, this is just like a chit chat updating, but I guess like the next like wedding planning update is we're trying to figure out our like save the dates. These are not our pictures, but I got a bunch of samples off of minted. I think we're using minted for our save the dates. Honestly, our wedding website, probably our invite, like our formal invitations. Is that what they're called? So we got some samples. You can get like 10 free samples off of minted. It's also like so cheap. So I think we're going to go with that. We just got some, like we got some magnets. I don't think we're going to do this. We don't really want to spend like the extra money on like magnets. This one is just like really small. So I think we're going to go with I don't mind sharing this stuff either like who really cares this doesn't have like any of our information on it but so like this is the magnet we were in between the magnet and like this is like a really thick piece of paper which we're also not going to go with we're not going to go with this small like kind of flimsy-ish piece of paper we're kind of going to meet in the middle and do i think we're going to do this one so it's like a bigger piece of paper it's not like the thick material so it's still like on the cheaper side honestly for like 100 invitations it's like 100 dollars, which in my opinion is not that expensive and they also do like free addresses like on the envelopes which is incredible they're free you just have to manually you can either do like an excel upload it sounds like super sponsored but it's not just in case you're like in the same boat and you have no idea what to do so Christian and I, I think are gonna individually go through like each envelope and put everyone's address on it. And then you can do your return address on like in the corner on the back. And I think that's like an extra $35 total, but like that's not bad. Like I would rather do that and have it all look really clean and crisp. And we don't have to like individually go through each envelope and write out the address or write out the return address on it. So I think we're gonna go with this one. And we picked our save the date photo i'll probably show it when it comes in we already got our full engagement photo shoot album back from our photographer which she did not have to like work on it so quickly but we're so grateful so we picked out a photo i'll share everything when it comes in but um we're probably not going to send these out for a couple of months but i just wanted to get like an idea and we sat down one night and went through like all of minted's like different fonts and stuff like that and i think we decided on this so we're not going to do like the thick style one it's just a little bit more expensive and we'd rather spend that extra little bit of money on like the envelopes so they're already written out for us 
But yeah, we're gonna go with this, this writing, and then we'll say our names down here and the date, and then where we're getting married. So I'm so excited. That's a little wedding update. And then I think in July, I was gonna do June, but June's just like a little bit busy. For me, it's like my birthday, Father's Day. Just like July maybe works a little bit better. But honestly, like July is like 4th of July. I'm going on a trip the last day of July. Basically like the first week of August, we're just leaving July 31st. But um, so I think I'm gonna do a weekend in July to try on wedding dresses, which I am excited about, I'm kind of freaking out. I'll probably vlog some. Um, I know there's like mixed opinions on like, why would you try on wedding dresses and like post it and like leave it up to like the imagination. If it's not the dress that I'm picking, I don't mind sharing just the process. I feel like it'd be fun to share like dresses that I tried on but didn't pick. So let me know your thoughts if you're interested in that. Or I could just keep it to myself, but I really like documenting the whole wedding process. It's been fun, but yeah, so. Next is save the dates, and I think we figured out what we're gonna do. So I'll share them when they come in and we order them, but it's not gonna be for a couple of months. But yeah, um, I think I'm gonna make an afternoon pick me up coffee while I put together the last bit of my bridesmaids proposal boxes and write out their cards. Let me take you off this. So we're gonna do a summer inspired latte. I guess this could be like a cross between a latte and Americano because we are adding coconut water to it. I've never tried this before. So I'm kind of interested to try. You are gonna do my favorite cup at the moment. I can't get enough of these cups. So I'm gonna grind up. Okay, so I think the recipe <laughs> recipe um, is basically most of it milk. It's so like half milk and then one fourth coconut water and then one fourth espresso. And then you can obviously add like sweetener of your choice if you want to, like maple syrup, honey. Okay, and then one fourth espresso. Okay, let's do a first impression. It's gorgeous. It's so refreshing in a different way, like a hint of coconut, kind of like an Americano. It's also hydrating because coconut water has electrolytes, so that's a plus. It's like a great summer coffee. I almost want to add a little bit more. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. It's so good. It's so good. I never would have done it this way either. I saw it on TikTok. It is so good. And it's great because coffee is really dehydrating. So if you're adding this coconut water into it, it has like electrolytes. It's very hydrating. It's like something great to mix with something that's dehydrating. So I'm gonna sip on this, put together my boxes. If you missed my last vlog, I'll share a little bit of what I'm putting in my bridesmaids boxes. Um, but I shared that in my last video when i asked my other bridesmaids i shared what's in my box and i shared what i got my sister who is my maid of honor as well let's sit over here on the couch you can't see my address but um i have this i've been storing everything in this giant crate and barrel box because that's where i got all the shot glasses but i wanted to share this too because i am so excited about this and if you're a bride you have to do something like this even if you don't purchase it through actually you don't have to do anything but um i am very excited about this and i'm so excited that i did this because i feel like it's so cute for like all things that are coming up like my bachelorette trip my honeymoon it's just exciting to get married and change your name so I got, you can't go wrong with also like an oversized button up. Such a good thing to have in your closet to like dress up or throw on. Shorts and a tank top, 
throw over a bathing suit. I think it's just the best thing ever to have. And I got this one from Cezanne. I just unboxed it. I haven't even taken the tag off. But I got it with my new last name on it in red. This is so cute and I'm so excited. I got a little heart too. And um, you can also do different colored stitching. But how freaking cute is this? I thought this was like the perfect thing for the honeymoon to throw on, my bachelorette trip, and it's just fun to have something with your new last name on it. So um, I got this from Cezanne. It's the Max button up, I think. I got the like the thicker style cotton. So it's not just like almost kind of like a linen-y thin one. And I got a size 36, which I think is a four. It already runs like a little bit bigger but yeah i'm so excited i i literally love it so it's like my first thing with my new last name on it it's just like a fun season of life and i just kind of want to embrace all like the fun things that i get to do like this and this is something that you could have forever i mean this will be my last name so why wouldn't i continue to wear it it's just like a great throw on piece so i'm excited about that and it also came with um like a reusable bag which has the most gorgeous print on it. It's a great size too. Great beach bag, boat bag, farmer's market bag, grocery store bag. It's really great. So I wanted to share that. I'm so excited about it. It's so cute. Um, I can link it. Unfortunately, if you do buy it, you can't return it once you get your name on it, but so cute, so cute. I'll link it. Let's build these boxes. So I have four more boxes to build. So I have each of these boxes. Got the candles, the diptyque candles. I think this is all of them. Yeah, it comes in a set of three. So I gave them that. But if you saw my last vlog, you guys have already seen all this stuff that I picked out. Tequila, Summer Fridays, lip balm, and then Crate and Barrel shot glasses, which I feel like these look like Waterford Crystal. They're so nice. And they were literally $2. So, I'm gonna do this. Hey. Hello, sweetie. What's up? It is so much later in the day. I already had dinner. I finished my bridesmaids proposal boxes. I'm now putting together a bag for tomorrow's boat day. We're going out on the boat to celebrate Memorial Day weekend. And we're going out tomorrow instead of Monday. I got this bag from Zara last summer and I like it because it has this pouch on the inside where, I don't even know if this bag is available, but I really loved how this comes up and then you can tie it so everything kind of stays inside and secure. So I really liked that feature of this bag. And then I have this hat, I think I got this off of Amazon too. I got this last summer. And then of course, all of our sunscreen. We just got like a ton of new sunscreen products for this weekend, like SPF 50. And this is like our liquor cabinet. It's usually more full than this. We've kind of been gifting out things, but Christian, my fiance is in liquor sales and he's been in liquor sales for over five years. So we always have like a supply of liquor but I think I'm gonna use or bring this Terramana tequila this is my favorite tequila it is so smooth if the restaurant carries Terramana I usually get it but I think I'm gonna do this and then I did get some spindrifts I love spindrifts they're such a good sparkling water without being too bubbly to where like your stomach hurts from all the bubbles so I got the mojito flavor which I thought sounded good and then I also got pineapple if I'm not doing high noons this is usually what I do spindrift and tequila and then we also have some limes in here I got some cups which I thought would be so fun for lake days they say lake water on them like how freaking cute so i'm gonna bring some of these and drink out of these which i thought would be pretty cute i don't even know if i have i don't have a lot of drawer space here in this apartment so i have like a junk basket i feel like i have koozies in here okay so i have one koozie which has sorry this is like dirty from obviously boat days but it has my face on it my friend taylor got that for me we also have these Yeti ones. 
that keep your drink cold. And I think we also have a brewmate one. So I'll probably bring these. I think Christian's gonna do the High Noons or Kettle One sodas. Anyways, yeah, just putting together this bag. I'm about to get in the shower. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Quickly wanted to share my outfit before we left to go out on the lake today. Wearing this like blue sparkly bikini from Monday Swim. These pants are from Park. They're red and white striped boxer pants. They're so cute. I don't think they're still available, but she's constantly releasing stuff like this. My pearl choker is from Etsy. My cowgirl hat is from Amazon and I'm carrying that straw bag from Zara from last year. And this is the fit. Mm -hmm. 